You want to talk to me about the door, right? Uh, yeah. Uh-oh. I don't know if I'm ready for this. All right, wish me luck. All right, everyone, you're watching the Green Dream Project. Jim here. And Jessica. Ah, Jess is with me. Hey. <laughs> so if you caught our last video, you know we've been having issues with critters getting into the dome. But I made some progress kind of filling in some of the gaps with Cobb underneath the door. But I still got a lot to do. I wanted to keep the drafts out, keep the mice out, and uh, make it just a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, we originally put it in there as kind of just a temporary thing. Eventually, that's there's not even going to be a door there. But we need something to kind of seal that area up, and especially now that we're looking to finish out the inside of the house. And I got to work on a little cover to keep a critter out of our compost pile. Now that I got that section of the floor done by the door, time to work on the door. And I'm gonna get that sealed up, so hopefully we don't have any more critter problems. I feel like I just need to kind of close up some of these areas around these edges and we might be good. All right, wish me luck. Let's get this sealed up. Okay, first up I got these little door sweeps I'm gonna put up on here. They're white, which I was not expecting. I was kind of hoping for a darker color, but I'll take what I can get. I'm just gonna mark on here how much I need. This might work okay. All right, let's get another one over here. Uh-oh, someone's excited. Oh, you got a few of the foods. thinking got one of these swivel hasps here and I thought this would be great for the inside for keeping things closed. All right, all attached. Yeah. I think that'll be nice. Update on the infiltration basin from my mom's tree. Uh, everything is looking amazing. This is after the monsoons and everything is still growing crazy around here. Looking green and healthy. And look at my mom's tree. It's looking so nice. And the sorghum is growing crazy around here. It almost looks like huge corn stalks. I got this weather stripping that I'm gonna put on the outside edges of this door. All right, I'm gonna put another one of these strips on the inside of the door. I might need a couple, one on each side. I think this will help close up the gap in the middle. The last thing I'm gonna do on this door, I had two pieces of foam, but I'm gonna put one here and uh, I have to get another one, but that'll go on the other side. All right, I think we're looking good. I like this piece of foam over here. Ultimately, I'm gonna see if I can find the other piece of foam I have, if I can find it. Basically, it's gonna go over here, but you get the idea. Basically, I'm gonna put another piece of foam over here and then something 
in between here. You see all this light over here? Psh, psh. Pretty soon you won't see that. All right, I'm gonna bring Jess out here and uh, see what she thinks of all this. And I'm gonna tell her my plans on what I'm gonna do with the rest of this door, see if she approves. So I got Jess out here and she is going to tell me what she thinks of the job I did with the door. Okay, first impressions. Okay, is it like done, done? <laughs> Jess, is anything we do ever out here ever done, done? I guess that. Okay, you want me to tell you right now what I'm gonna do to finish? Sure. Okay, well, you can't see it from the outside, but there'll be foam along the top edge, much like that side right there. There'll be foam on the inside, and then there'll be foam right here in the middle. So there are two points of light. Light gets in over here, and light gets in down here. How's it feel like closing the door to your home? See, it doesn't uh, latch tight, but I think it'll be okay. And like I said, there'll be foam on the outside, there'll be foam on that edge. But what are you thinking? How do you think? You think it's livable? I think it will be once foam is foamed. Yeah, I mean, there's things like uh, more cob needs to happen at the top of the door. But like once that foam is in place, what do you think, livable? Like will this door do? I think it'll do. I know we've said this before, but just to reiterate, like <laughs> this door is not like the final door. We're trying to get something, something like semi-permanent, but it's not gonna be permanent. Right, in fact, there won't actually be a door here. Yeah, it's gonna be just an open kind of archway. Yeah. And eventually we'll be building a hallway extending out to a whole other dome and the door, like the front door is gonna be in that hallway. So, but we still need like a door that's workable here yep. for yep. now because we want to start being able to move things in here and hopefully like move, start moving in soon. And actually live in the dome. Yeah. A while ago, Jim was talking about how he got these work boots from High C and he really liked them. I think it really shows I mean, he's been wearing these boots pretty much every day. What I failed to mention was that I also got some boots. And I'm gonna be honest here because I kinda have some weird feet. They're very long and narrow and it's really hard for me to find decent footwear that works for me, my style, and feels comfortable. So the boots that I've been wearing, they are, I think they're Carhartts. And I really love those. I've been wearing them probably for about five years. The great thing about leather boots, like the longer you wear them, the more comfortable they get. They kind of mold to your feet. And these ones I've worn almost every day for the past five years until they've gotten holes in them. And then I patch the holes and now the patches are getting holes. But I decided to try getting some new boots and I went with these kind of cowgirl style boots and they look really nice. I don't think I'm really gonna be using them as like work boots. I can see maybe wearing them kind of out on the town or something. Oh, someone's looking beautiful. Yeah. Can we can we just take a moment to appreciate this? Thank you. You decided to uh, kind of wash off all the mud and grime for a little bit, huh? <laughs> well, this we'll enjoy this because it'll probably only last like this for about an hour or so, and then uh, yes, back into the mud. You want to talk to me about the door, right? Uh, yeah. Uh oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. I'm wondering if. Maybe we could do a little more with the door. Like it's a good start. Okay, ooh, nice. Like it's not closing all the way. Or it doesn't stay closed. I don't know if there's a way to just kind of keep it 
like latch so that it's a little tighter. Also, we cut the door actually just a little smaller so it doesn't rub and then add a little bit that kind of overlaps around the edges, you know what I mean? And maybe even like in the center. Those are just my thoughts. Oh, good thoughts. Okay. Uh, do you think we can try that? And by we, I mean you. So another project I got to get done around here is I got to deal with this compost station. Animals kind of find their way over to this place, but really the main problem now is Yuvia. Yuvia's found this place. She's found it kind of interesting. So I got to get a cover on there. I can't trust her to stay away. I can train her to stay away, but I might take a little time. And in the meantime, I can't have her get in there and possibly getting sick. So I got to get a cover in place. Now I have an idea that might make this go pretty quick. It's not gonna be perfectly sized, but just as long as it covers most of it, as long as it gets the middle covered, it might do. I think this is gonna turn out nice. I've been thinking about how to put something like this together for the longest time. And it should end up, I think, being pretty, pretty easy and straightforward. <laughs> Kisses for daddy. So it's not perfectly sized. You can see there's some room to the back, but just as long as we got the middle covered, I think that should be fine. Oh, look, a little lizard. Can you see that? Stuff like that could be what's drawing her to the uh, compost. But uh, looks like it fits for the most part. And uh, it shouldn't be too hard to lift up. That's pretty easy. Fairly lightweight. I think it'll keep this little pest out of there. I think that'll work. Nice, quick, easy project. You gotta love those little victories. All right, so I got the door complete. Let me show you what's going on. Okay, so I added these boards onto the side to kind of seal up those edges. I added a little exterior frame going up over the top, kind of sealing that up a bit. And then on the inside, I had a little overlap to the door. Looking much better, I think. So how does it feel kind of have a working door? Like so bugs and well, mice and snakes have been able to get in. Uh, I think this should keep out any of the pests. What do you think? I think so. So I think this will work. I think it'll help keep uh, any of the draft any drafts coming through the door, I think it should help with that. Or, I mean, it'll be interesting to see like how it affects the temperature in here too. Yeah, it might affect the temperature. Um, very exciting. <laughs> a couple little small steps here on the, uh, the dome. So I might bounce back and forth between the basins and maybe doing some more work here on the floor until that whole, the whole area around the OSB is like filled in. Yeah, that'll be, That'll be a lot of work. It'll be a lot of work. So yeah, but a little bit at a time, because both of them are going to be a lot of work. So maybe bounce back and forth. What do you think? Yeah. All right. That might be nice. Like you can do some outside work and inside work. Yeah. Yeah. And or, meanwhile, I will just be working outside. Keep plugging away on the top of the dome. <laughs> yeah. You're making progress, slowly but surely. It's getting there. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Very exciting. We'll catch you in the next video, y'all. Bye.